Hi, this is a Cubase quick tip on using auto fades, auto fade in and auto fade outs. Um, here I have a vocal track that's been edited. I'm just going to move some parts around here like this. Let's say this is my final comp. Um, so you see there is some overlapping material here. Um, here there's some gaps and um, I want to make sure that there's no clicks on this vocal track. So um, if I click here in the inspector on um, auto fade settings, so the auto fade setting box uh, pops up and then um, here I have auto cross fades. I could use also auto fade in and auto fade out. And then um, you can click here, use project settings if you want to apply the settings globally to the whole project, to all your tracks, or um, I prefer to um, tick this out and um, only tick it when I want to use uh, auto fades on certain tracks only. So 10 milliseconds is a good value. Um, between 5 and 10 is pretty good. So I'll go with that. And now um, even if graphically I can't see the fades, um, Cubase has actually created a 10 millisecond fade in here, creates uh, a crossfade here, 10 milliseconds, another crossfade here, and um, it created a fade out and a fade in here. So Cubase has created the auto fades so that you'll never hear any clicks on your track. That's the quick tip.